Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and to a new mini video from this series. Today we are going to talk about the measurement of the planes on the CMM, but we are going to keep it simple. There is not going to be explained the ways of calculating the plane, like the Gauss method or the outer tangential, the inner tangential, the minimum feature and so on. We are just going to explain how to touch the plane element on the CMM and if you like the information you can leave a like now and take it back in, in, at the end if you change your mind. So let's dig in. So, as I got you used to, uh, I've put together a presentation. Here we can see we have the plane. So, like I specified in my previous video about the measuring of the geometrical elements, you will need at least three points to define a plane. Okay. Uh, the standard evaluation consists of the XYZ coordinates of the point of the mass from the plane and its normal vector. When I say the point of the mass, I mean that is the center of the gravity, the center of gravity from the plane. So it's the same. Okay, the plane doesn't have margins. So even if you see on a CAD model that uh, it uh, defines a plane with margins uh, or when you do it by manually it defines the plane with margins you will have to think about the plane like an infinite element so keep that in mind it's, it's very important Okay, the direction of the normal of the plane is from the surface to the exterior Okay, so let's see, it's from the surface to the exterior, okay, let's see it again, from the surface to the exterior. Okay, so here we will see the center of mass and the normal di direction of the plane. The number and the distribution of the touch points on the plane has a big influence on the position of the center of mass and uh, uh, it's normal so uh, we can see the examples below uh, this is the nominal plane okay so let's see let's say that this is a CAD model and uh, you say on a CAD model please take four points like this as shown here and uh, the points are distributed equally the center of mass is calculated near the center of the nominal plane so this will be correct and this is the actual part when you go and measure it uh, it has significant form deviation as you see here but since you uh, you distributed uh, the points equally the calculated plane the center of mass and the normal direction are stable so this is an okay okay so we have again the nominal plane, but for whatever reason you say to the software, please take four points here in this zone. Okay, so the points are distributed only on the side of the plane. The center of mass is far from the center of the plane and there is a high risk of measurement error. So this is what happens on an actual part, as you see you touch the surface where where is uh, uh, where it has a, a high deviation and uh, you even generated a inclination angle from the plane uh, as seen here from the normal okay so the points are distributed only on the side of the plane as we said the center of mass the normal direction and the calculated plane are not stable and shows only a local form of the touch surface okay so do not do it like this please do it like this okay when you want to calculate the form of the plane you want to see the form of the plane okay Okay, so here we have a 
an example again on GOM Inspect. Uh, I've managed to download the model and the mesh uh, from the GOM uh, website. So thank you uh, GOM for this. Uh, I have this now to explain to my viewers. It's very important. Okay, so what I've done here is make a simple uh, datum. Okay, so I made this plane datum A, this plane from here datum B, and this plane from here datum C. Okay, and I've constructed a, a datum system. So the origin will be right here at the intersection of the planes. Okay, but this is not important for now. The, the plane that's important is plane A because it's a large surface and we will talk on, on the, this large surface. Okay, so I've made plane A, then, then I made another surface right here, uh, a little surface right here, and another one right here, and I made a bigger surface here. All the surface were constructed from three points, so it's from here, plane, three point plane, okay? So that's the function that I used. Okay, but let's see, for example, if we want to see the flatness of plane A. Okay. So I put a tolerance of 0.5 on the flatness and the actual is 0.42. So we are in tolerance, but it's near to go out of tolerance. But we are in tolerance for now. Okay, uh, let's see what happens if we check the, the, same to, uh, the same flatness, but on the little plane from right here. So it's almost perfect, as you see. So now, if you evaluate the flatness of this plane only on this surface, this small surface here, you will generate an error. Again, let's see it on this one. Okay, so we have plane two. Let's see the flatness. Again, even though it's on this side, it's still good because we only took a small part from the plane. And let's see what happens on this one okay so this is plane 3 done from three points here here and here and as we see the result resembles the plane took from the CAD so please when you want to to see the deviation of the plane take the surfaces as closer to the margins as possible like one millimeter one millimeter and a half two millimeters in order to be safe and to calculate the actual deviation from the planes okay so this is all for now guys thank you for watching until next time have a nice one